Welcome to another episode of my series, Taking You Out. My name is Chloe George. I am a creative entrepreneur, friends lover, interior designer, lover of all things tech and digital, but most importantly, your new biz BFF. In this series, I will t- walk you through the ins and outs of the tech software you will need to automate, organize, and elevate your biz so you can get back to doing the things you love most, which is creating. So make sure to check it out. So today I'm very excited to show you how to create your very own favicon icon for your website that you can use on Squarespace, Shopify, and any other website that you might have. So let's get into it. So what is a favicon? So as you may or may not already know from this channel, I'm a huge, big fan of Canva. So naturally, I'm going to take you to Canva to design your favicon. But what the heck is a favicon? So it is a small square image that represents your website in web browsers. Favicons can be composed of a company's logo, initials, or other identifying imagery. So why is it important to have one? Three key things that come to mind when it comes to creating or knowing what a favicon is and does for your company. So brand recognition. So search engine optimization is all about brand visibility. As a shortcut icon that takes customers to your site faster and more efficiently, a favicon serves your brand positioning in more ways than one. Users can save it to their bookmarks on their home screen and it helps drive more traffic to your business's homepage. Favicons contribute to increased visibility for your site, which means that more potential customers learn who you are and remember your company. Also, the legitimacy of your site. A customized Favicon can make your website legitimate to users. Favicons lend credibility to your site and present your company as a place that customers can trust to shop or work with. So basically, most business owners recognize how vital their online image is to the success of their companies. A potential customer may view a business website and make a judgment on the quality of the marketing or design alone. Can you believe that? Yes, it's definitely true. And lastly, bookmarks. So Favicons can provide your company with immediate leverage online. Google Chrome, for example, will bookmark websites that have a Favicon, thereby attaching a search ranking signal that you want when it comes to driving traffic to your web page. Favicons also make it easy for users to find your website in their own bookmarks so they can keep coming back to your site quickly and easily. These advantages heighten your company's SEO performance and overall user experience. So let's get into creating your Favicon in Canva. Hey, beautiful creatives, you. Thank you for coming back to another video. Today, we're going to do or create a Favicon using Canva. Canva is, again, one of my favorite platforms for designing. Of course, if you are a designer extraordinaire, you're obviously using either Adobe Photoshop or Adobe XD. Um, But Canva is my go-to, just keep it simple for anything brand related. So today I'm going to show you how to create a favicon. And what is a favicon? It is this little tiny icon that appears on a website that is part of their brand. And I'm going to show you how to create two versions, one with a background and one with no background and either a typeface or your font or your actual small logo. So we're going to start off with creating the favicon with a background. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and select a size. We're going to create a design with a specific custom size. Now favicons are 100 by 100 and obviously I've used it before. So um, we'll do 100 by 100 in pixels. Create the new design. And here we have the small little box that's going to become our favicon. Now, because I want to make this actually a, because this is going to go on your website, it's going to be the one with a actual background color. I'm going to change this background from just stark white to, let's do something like this pink. Um, Of course, this can be any color that you want that matches your brand, which is always essential to always have your brand information here. So I'm going to pick a text. Um, Usually I have, again, my own fonts 
when you're creating your text for your favicon, I don't suggest you putting more than one letter because as you notice up here, there's not really a lot of space for it. You can do again your logo or you can do you can create something like this with your text. I'm going to create something like this with just my text. I'm just going to create a simple K and I'm going to change that font because even though it is my brand um, font, it's just not as dark or vibrant as I want it to be. So we're going to use this intro rust. No, actually, no, we're not going to use that. We're going to use London. Okay. Um, then it looks good. So what you want to do is you want to cre try to create this icon as big as possible within the frame. Of course, Canva will tell you if it's in the middle by using the border outlines that you can see in purple. You're probably not going to be able to see it that all that much because of the color of the background. But essentially, we want to try to make it as close to the middle as possible, um, which is why Canva is such a great tool for creating um, brand things because of that feature. So this looks like it's just a right in the middle. So now that we have our icon, we're actually going to go ahead and download that. Now the PNG is the suggested format, and this is what is gonna go into your Squarespace favicon area. So we're gonna go ahead and hit download. And we'll wait for that to download here. It says that it's been downloaded, great. So now we're gonna go into our website. So when we are going into our website, we're going to go to, so when we go into your Squarespace, now depending on if you use 7.0 or 7.1, they might be in different areas. For so for 7.1, my design favicon or um, icon setting will be under design. And then it will be right under here where it says browser icon. And as you can see, I do have my one of my logos because I do have my scripted name and then a little logo. I've chosen the actual little logo for this. But for this video, of course, I'm going to edit this, remove this out of here. But this is essentially where you want to go. And it tells you right there, it says browser icon, favicon. Uh, you can upload your browser URL icon for use with your site. So and it does say that it has to be in PNG or ICO format. So we want to go ahead now and look for that favicon we have created. We'll add it here. Let it load. It will automatically resize it as well if it needs to be a little smaller. But for the most part, 100 by 100 pixels is just a standard for any website, whether you're Shopify, Showit, any, any website pretty much. So we're going to hit save. And now sometimes, if you've noticed up here, it does take a little while for it to kind of implement the new favicon. Um, so don't fret that you look at it and you're like, oh, but wait a minute, it never even changed. It just takes a little while to update. So we're going to go back out of here. We're just going to give it a minute. But as you can see, once I, a few seconds later, it has changed over to the new favicon that I created, which is the little pink one. So now here is how you can create this one that I did with the logo with the transparent background. So we're going to keep the same look with the same text. Essentially to do that, just to make a stream a streamline, we're going to duplicate the page. Now I want this to stay, but I'm obviously, if I'm going to remove the background and add another color, I'm going to change the font to something just a little darker. And I'm going to remove the background color. So once you tap on the background color, let's put it back to that same white that we had before. Now here we're going to choose an element. Um, let's go into gradients. Let's do this. Let's see what will look good with this. Let's do this little pink blob. Now again, we want to make sure that the element kind of takes up the space of the pixel or the 100 by 100 on um, pixel that we have here. So we want to position this to the background so that the cake can come on top. Now to save this to your desktop, we're going to hit, we only want page two. So we're going to hit download PNG, transparent background, and we're going to choose only page two. We're going to hit download and we will see how that looks basically. So now we're going to do the same exact function that we did prior, we're going to go back to the design page again, depending on if you're using 7.0 or 7.1 in Squarespace. 
we're going to go to our browser icon. We're going to edit this image, add our new favicon with the transparent background in this little blob. We're going to hit open again, and we are going to save it and give it a minute to kind of update here for us. Um, again, sometimes we need a little refresher. Sometimes it does it right away. It just depends on how they import their information and how long it takes them to update. So as you can see now, you can barely see the little element, but you do see the K. So you can always, if you're not satisfied with that and you want it just a little bit bigger, you can always go back into your Canva, make the icon just a little larger, make the blob in the back bleed off the page a little bit, and make that just a little bit larger so you're able to see it just a whole lot more up here. But essentially, that's how you would do a kind of transparent background with any cute little element that you might add that is perfect for your brand. And I'm going to show you one more, which is how to use your actual logo into the same exact format. So we're basically going to do the same thing, but instead of duplicating these pages because we don't want this K, we're actually going to use our own logo. We're going to go to add a page. We're going to keep the same background as white. Uh, depending on if you have your logo saved in Canva, which I suggest that you do. So here are my, all my logos. So I'm going to choose my little, I'm going to keep, this is the same dimensions, 100 by 100, but I'm going to add in my logo, which is this little guy over here. I'm going to, again, try to take up the entire space of this 100 by 100 pixel. I'm going to move it right here like that and if you've noticed well i don't know if you have but this is a mouse a computer mouse but it looks like a girl with hair which is a girl tech which is me so that's one of my alternative logos which i absolutely adore anyway so now i'm going to do the same thing i did with this one i'm going to download only page three because i don't want all of these things i just want page three and i want a transparent background with my logo and it will start downloading to my downloads page. I'm going to go do the same exact thing. I'm going to edit this image, add my newest one. I'm going to let it load, obviously. Hit save. We are going to, again, just wait for it to kind of save up here for us. So once that is saved, as you can see, here is my little logo favicon and that is it that is how simple it is to create your own favicon in canva for your squarespace site again this can be used for your squarespace shopify for any anywhere that creates um that you're able to create your own logo favicon any website member vault Kartra, you name it, you can do this and you can use Canva for it. Again, pretty much across the board, it is 100 by 100 pixel. And what they'll do if the website like Shopify will make it smaller, which is 32 by 32, then they'll go ahead and resize it. But the basic size is 100 by 100. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it helped you create your very own Favicon for your Squarespace site. I will talk to you again in another tech video next Tuesday.